Hello, this is Lini. Welcome to my channel, Lini from Yunnan. Today, let's experience the day in the life of a Chinese tea shop owner. Stacy is 31 years old. After graduating from Fudan University in Shanghai, a top university in China. Unlike most graduates from prestigious schools, Stacy did not try to find a job in a big company, but chose to start a business. She returned to her hometown Yunnan from Shanghai and opened two tea shops in Kunming, specializing in selling Yunnan tea of Asian trees. It has been almost 10 years now. Stacy has a daughter, Naomi, who is over one year old. Every morning, the baby wakes up at around 7 and Stacy gets up with the baby. She eats breakfast with Naomi and plays with her for a while. She leaves home for work at around 10.30. Stacy's parents live very close to her. Every day, when she goes to work, her parents come to take care of the baby and they also hire a nanny. Naomi's favorite music is played automatically in the car. One of Stacy's tea shop is not far from her home. It takes 20 minutes to get there by car. It is open at 11 every day. She has an employee, Xiao Qing, and an intern, Xiao Chun. A new bar next door will open soon and is being renovated now. It is very noisy. This is the tea that Stacy put from the warehouse. In addition to selling tea and tea sets, Stacy's Tea Shop also provides tea service. They are packing tea. This tea shop is about 120 square meters and has two floors. Stacy has decorated it with heart. This poem was written to her by her father. And two guests come to drink tea early in the morning. Stacy has many regular customers, and many of them leave their teacups in the store. There must be flowers in the shop every day. Stacy majored in sociology in college, and at that time she was confused and did not know what she wanted to do in the future. In her senior year, encouraged by friends and with the mentality of giving it a try, she opened a women's clothing store in her hometown, and the business was not bad. After graduation, she turned to Kunming and opened another children's clothing store. She hired a girl and she had to go to the wholesale market a few times every week to purchase clothes, which was very tiring. Her mother told me that at that time it was very difficult to see her daughter work so hard, and she hoped that she could find a stable job. The business of the children's clothing store was very good which strengthens Stacy's determination to start her own business. At that time, she hoped to make her children's clothing store into a national chain brand. Stacy's aunt has been in the tea business for decades, and she owns Asian tea forests in Lingcang, Yunnan, a Scots tea producing area.
In 2014, Stacy began to get serious knowledge of tea and fell in love with Asian tree tea in Yunnan. After careful preparation, she opened a poor tea shop, specializing in selling her aunt's Asian tree tea. In order to concentrate on the tea business, she closed the women's clothing store and children's clothing store that were doing well. This is Xiao Qing. She used to work in Stacy's children's clothing store. She majored in Chinese language and literature in college. She once was an elementary school teacher, but she prefers to be a salesperson. At one o'clock, Stacy went to the restaurant next door to order lunch. She has a good relationship with neighbors on this street. Usually, Stacy will train her employees on tea art and product knowledge. But today, two representatives from an online sales company came to the shop to take pictures and videos, and wanted to promote and sell her afternoon tea online. They assisted with filming. Two guests came. Stacy greeted them warmly. They ordered afternoon tea. This is Stacy's new product this summer, lotus tea. She put the white tea into a fresh lotus flower and leave it for a whole day to let the tea leaves ferment naturally in the humidity of the lotus petals. The fragrance of the white tea is mixed with that of the lotus, which has a wonderful taste. At 4.30, Stacy is going to deliver the goods to another tea shop. Stacy, when can you take a break? Are you tired? The two tea shops are 18 kilometers away. She hires a store manager to manage the other shop. She goes there several times a week to deliver goods and to see if things are going well with the shop. This shop is in a tourist attraction called Guandu Asian Town, and there are many tourists. There is a lot of goods. Stacy can't get it at one time, so she will come back again. In order to continuously improve her knowledge and vision, in 2015, she went to the University of Surrey in the UK to pursue a postgraduate study in international retail management. During her studies, she also managed her tea shop remotely. The topic of her graduation thesis is the international marketing of Yunnan Pua tea. After returning to China from the UK, she devoted herself to running her tea shop. Good Asian tree tea is a very scarce product because the tea is picked from a few specific Asian trees in a specific production area in Yunnan. In order to have a reliable source of tea and make really good products, 
Stacy also rented an Asian tea forest in Lingtang, with more than 80 Asian tea trees of over a hundred years old. She designed the decoration of the shop on her own. It's very hot today. Stacy will have some lotus tea. What do you like about poor tea?、Mm, I think the the taste of it is uh, with so many layers like that. <laughs> yeah, because the the、uh, it's like a perfume.、Um, when you first、uh, first brew uh, or the uh, first five brews,、uh, it's like a honey taste, and in the middle is another one, and the, in the end. It it will come、um, come out with、um, flower taste or something like that. So it's so it's different from the beginning to the end. What's the happiest thing about working in this industry?、Uh, selling it、uh, when you hear the money come inside, and that means someone、uh, someone like this product. So that's the happiest moment when I sell it. I am so tired every now and then、uh, because there are so many things inside my head. I have to think about、um, uh, how to uh, produce the product, how to pricing. Or how to introduce a product to my customer, or、uh, even a broken lamp, I have to fix it. So that will be very tired、uh, from mentally or physically. I feel tired every now and then because <laughs> everything is、um, only me. What's the motivation for you to get up every day, every morning? Um. Maybe、um, to earn some money. <laughs> That will be very happy for me because I can、uh, raise myself, raise my kid, or I can buy the beautiful clothes I want, some jewelries I like.、Uh, so that will be my motivate for、uh, to get up every morning to do all those. Uh, small things, all those chores, all those、uh, stuff. So I will work hard for everything I want. At six thirty, Stacy is now going back to the tea shop in the city. It is rush hour now, and there might be traffic jam. Xiao Qing and Xiao Chun had dinner already, and Xiao Qing helped Stacy order takeout for dinner. Stacy's tea shop is open all year round. It's busy on weekends and holidays, and her mother sometimes comes to help her. Her biggest hobby is shopping. When she was studying in the UK, she would go shopping from Surrey to London almost every week. However, in recent years, she spent almost all of her time in her tea shops and in tea mountains. And when she takes a break, she takes care of her daughter. At nine o'clock, her parents brought Naomi to the shop, and she could play with her daughter for a while. Stacy's tea shops usually close at ten p.m. Or later, if there are customers.
要摸摸啊，现在没有拿出来。<笑>